What's going on, Julian? Rocco, how are you doing, my brother? How are you doing? I'm from Texas, California, in front of the Wilson Boulevard at the 4929, in front of the, um, just the one of the buildings demonstrating for the, against tomorrow's uh, um, uh, exam uh, demonstration. So it's amazing. So many people are here. Uh, you know, shouting and yelling for uh, the representative to come out, but he's not in town today. So I'm going to take you to the, uh, to turn on the camera to the people who are demonstrating right now. Okay, perfect. Let us know. Uh, we're all listening. We're all watching. We're all proud of you guys. Yes, we definitely do that. <laughs> Humanitarian aid for Tigray. Humanitarian aid for Tigray. As you can see, um, we are live again to uh, Captain Eritrea in Los Angeles, California, and uh, we are really, uh, have people are coming, a lot of people are coming to demonstrate this uh, um, tragedy in Tigray, and our uh, brother and sister from Tigray are right now in living in Los Angeles, California, covering this uh, uh, tragedy and tragedy happening in their 
homeland. Uh, I'm going to try to uh, interview some of the people right now, and uh, it's going to be very hard to hear it, but if you can hear me, um, I'm going to try to find one person to be speaking regarding what's going on in Los Angeles today. Are you we can hear to you. We can hear you, uh, Gideon, brother. Uh, is, question okay. for you. Is yes, this freedom? I'm sorry? Go ahead. Okay, yes, absolutely. This is what Team Freedom Los Angeles covering what's going on in, uh, in Los Angeles area. We are Southern California uh, team, uh, especially uh, Los Angeles and also San Bernardino County uh, uh, team, uh, uh, team uh, Freedom. And uh, if you can hear me good, I'm going to try to find somebody who can interview uh, in Sigrinia uh, or in English. But uh, if you can hear me pretty good, right? Sir, can you hear me? Captain Eritrea, can you hear me? Captain Eritrea. Captain Eritrea, can you hear me? But don't matter. But you're going to get out of the door. This is uh, what we're trying to do is we're trying to educate Eritreans, young Eritreans. We are the same people. And I'm Eritrean, but I just want to make sure some of them don't know anything about Tigrayan uh, Eritreans. We are the same people. So we were, we were been told we were like separate people, we but we are not. So can you just address that one? And speaking Tigrayan is good. English is good. Captain Eritrea, can you hear me? Captain Eritrea, can you hear me? Captain Eritrea, this is Gideon from. Los Angeles, California. Can you hear me? We can hear you, brother. Lost you for yeah. a second. Good. I'm going to introduce. Uh, well, to, uh, she'll be uh, speaking on Tigrayan now or English. Just to tell them what's happening today in uh, Los Angeles, California. Go ahead. Just, yeah. We gathered here to talk about what's happening. I mean, it's Okay. Uh, but there's a lot of raping. Uh, there's a massacre going on right now. A genocide. Okay. And okay. the U.S. is not talking about it. No one's talking about it. Okay. We're trying to spread awareness about what's happening in our country okay. right now. Okay. Who's doing that right now? Uh, I'm Dr. Detroit. And the are coming into um, the two barriers and raping women, killing children. It's just a massacre. Okay. So how do you feel about the Eritreans living in the United States have no idea what's going on in Tigra? What message do you have? Thank you very much. You have something to say? Okay. okay. Go ahead. Thank you very much. How about in the half of the Grinya? The Grinya is a very American Adiza law inside of Messiah to Hibio. Oh, very happy. Thank you. You can nearly have to follow Captain Eritrea. We need you. Yeah, we need you because we don't have Tagaru, a lot of Tagaru following us. So we want together, 
we are out to attack our enemy. Thank you, ladies. Follow hey, Captain Eritrea. Team, team Freedom. Team Freedom. Yes, sir. Yes. yes, sir. I have a question for you. Can you ask the yes. lady? Can you ask the lady um what what she sees moving forward after this uh, Salamawi selfie? Yes, uh, we was the Captain Eritrea is asking you what's gonna happen after this uh uh, this, uh, you, you're asking her if the, the after the demonstration is in the future between Eritrea and Ethiopia. What was the question again? Yes. What is the future after all this okay. ends? What does she see happening in the future? Okay. Um, uh, what he's asking you is, uh, Captain Eritrea asking, what's the future about Eritrea and uh, uh, and to have have in the future? What do you? dream about? What do you think about? Okay, go ahead. future. We want to educate Eritreans of American the young generation of Tagarun Ertravian and Hadim Muhan Hamirnan and Salan and Afinuaga and the Namukana in our trade to go. So uh, we are Tim California, uh, Tim Los Angeles, for Captain Eritrea. So Captain Eritrea is asking you, how do you feel what's going on right now? In time as like Kahiji. Okay. Uh, so our pressures, hopefully, come out. 
in the future, I see the whole of the um, can be the um, the Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank uh, uh, Captain Eritrea, uh, we heard about uh, Captain Eritrea regarding um, team, freedom. Educating er team freedom. We're educating an Eritrean young Eritrean to let them know that Tagaru and Eritrean are the same people, are the same uh, background. We just have a political problem. So we're trying to educate the, the young generation, the one in outside the country. So can you say something to Captain Eritrea right now? He's alive right now. What are the okay. okay, thank you. No problem. We, under we understand. We understand. We are together. 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 We are yeah, uh, you know, they have an anger, we can understand. Um, but uh, we have a lot of people um, in this area. So one of the guys was trying to uh, ask him a question. He was not uh, happy because we're Eritrean, but we understand uh, the situation yeah. they have. So uh, I'm going to try to get more people to get interviewed to the the younger generation probably is much better uh, the understanding. My brother, can I uh, interview King Freedom. you from King Freedom? My voice. How about you, sir? Can you say something for King Freedom? Uh, is in the Captain Eritrea. We're trying to uh, educate the Eritrean young generation to let them know Tagaru and Eritrean are the same. Message and select such a book. Okay, Okay. Um, uh, how about in English? Do you have to say something to people who speak uh, in English? Uh, they may hear the ring, but more much better in English if you can. Um, what do you think about future of Eritrea and Tigray in after this war is over, after peace, do you think they could live together as one country or what do you what do you what do you feel? We always going to be neighbors, so we will you will have a peaceful neighbor. So now we are neighbors, so we we want to be able to live peacefully mm -hmm. as a neighbor. In the future. Okay. So thank you very much. I appreciate that, my brother. Thank you. I I can see a lot of people are um, more to the uh, activities going on in uh, Los Angeles, California, um, you know, uh, and uh, recording from uh, 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 from the street of Wilshire. I think it's uh, Wilshire Boulevard and uh, uh, 
Wiltshire Boulevard, and I don't know the other thing. Oh, uh, Highland, and Captain uh, uh, okay. Eritrea. There's a guy. There's a guy who likes to be say hi to you. Go ahead, say hi. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. Yeah. yeah. He can hear you. Say something. He's a nice guy. I follow him. He's a Russian person. Yes. He's, he's a <laughs> Thank very you. good guy Thank and you. very active. Good. Thank you. Thank you. Follow us, please. Follow. Yes. We don't believe this is the people of Tigray uh, and Eritrea war. This is the dictator's war. Yes. Yeah. So, Thank you. I agree with you 100 percent, my brother. Believe, we cannot believe the Eritrean people. We believe the president and the military. Yes. And the Captain Eritrea about saying that I, I appreciate you. Thank you. And he was saying that I agree with you 100 percent Thank you. Thank you very much. I, I'm gonna try to go to another young uh, uh, at the grand. Uh, if they can uh, say something in Tigrinya or in English. Can you hear me good? I can hear you great. Team Freedom uh, Los Angeles, you. you guys are doing a great job. Okay, thank you very much. This is Captain Eritrea live. Have you heard Captain Eritrea? Okay. Okay, Captain Eritrea is a, a educating Eritrean, uh, um, young generation Eritreans to educate Tigrayans. We have to have behind Tigrayans because they are the same people and we just feel the politicians are separating us. So we're trying to educate the, the young generation. So can you say something about what's going on here right now on, uh, in this area, just in English, in Tigrinya, yes. In Tigrinya, in English, whatever you want. <laughs> Bye. Yes. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah, yeah so you, you, uh, uh, obviously I appreciate this to uh, let the, uh, our people know understanding Tagaru and Eritrean are the same people. Uh, and also we were just uh, uh, the same language and same thing. And uh, unfortunately the politician did that to us, but we have to be united uh, and together to fight this, our enemy. So what do you think in the future after this war is over, do you think Eritrea and Tigray become one nation? together working, or what do you feel? Ideally, that would be um, the goal. Okay. Come together. Um, okay. Our parents fought yes. this war long ago. Yes. Yes. So okay. the only way we can survive okay. is to stay together. Right. To okay. Stay together. I, I appreciate that. Thank you very much. Right. Hey, Gideon. Yes, Gideon. Sir. Yes, sir. I'm tell her. Go ahead. Tell Tell, tell the young lady I said thank you and uh, we will continue to be good neighbors and co coexist in peace. Okay. Uh, Captain Richard is returning say thank you very much for your information. We will exist together and uh, follow him. As a, if you go to a Facebook, it's a Captain Eritrea. Uh, he's a liar, he's still Eritrea. He's still Eritrea so <laughs> I'm just kidding, Captain. <laughs> uh, but uh, you can follow him because we need more people to educate and follow us, okay? Thank you very much. How about this young lady here? If you say, um, this, uh, hello, this is Captain Eritrea. Uh, just uh, going around and uh, we, are, we are the team of uh, California. We're trying to go around and find a uh, young generation so they can explain to the young generation Eritreans who have no idea what's going on. So can you speak the gray now or in English? English is good if you can. Tigrinya has a good job, guys. There are people that are starving in Tigray right now. They're weaponizing food. They're weaponizing rape. They're raping women. They're raping children. They're killing our youth. So we're here to stop the genocide. It's not about politics. We just want to stop the war. We want to save our people. So that's why we're fighting here as a community. And we want to just make sure that Tigray is going to be safe and free and just, we're here for the people, that's it. It's not about politics. We love our people, but we're fighting here in the diaspora to make sure that we can stop the war as soon as possible. That's why we're here. It's just for love and that's more. We're just here for our family. Okay, 
<laughs> thank, so, thank you, my sister. We support you. We're, we agree with you. We don't. We're not into politics either. What we want is the safety of the Hizbi, the people. <laughs> what he's saying is, thank you very much. We are not in politics. We love and we work together in the future. And so, one question for you is, uh, to Brian, uh, what do you think about the return? A uh, young generation to the young generation in the future, and do you think we'll be one country or do we work together? What What is your dream? It's uh, we work together. We need to stop the politics. We need to become one. We need to fight with uh, with each other because right now there's a lot of hate. We need to eliminate that because that's gonna make us weaker. So do you feel Eritrean, uh, speaking of Tigrinya and Tagan are the same people or separate people? I mean, we just got to learn our history. Okay. Uh, is there anything you want to say, Captain Eritrea, to our Hoftana? Uh, uh, I want to say thank you. Uh, don't lose hope, sister. We will, we will get through this. And his be Eritrea is beside his be Tigray, no matter the politics. Don't matter the politics. We love, we're united, uh, and uh, don't give up. Just continue uh, in a stand for your rights. Yes, okay. People over politics. People over politics. I like that. That's, people that's my shirt. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> that's my logo. Thank you. Thank you. I'm going to go another sister. If you feel like talking to Captain Eritrea, as you can see, we are live with Captain Eritrea. We're trying to educate the uh, Eritrean young generation like you. We are the same people because of the politics, because of the educators telling us we're just we're not the same. So what message do you have for a young generation Eritrean as a, a young generation to grind here? We need to understand our history. That's okay, you sound good. the future coming up uh, between Eritrea and Tigray? Do you think there'll be one country? Or do you think that uh, um, one you need to work together? What, what do you feel? I, I would love that, but I think that there's a lot of pain. Uh -huh. There's a lot of anger that needs to be worked through. I think that we need to address those issues. Uh, we can't to Eritrean uh, uh, speaking to Grenya, uh, are the Tagaru and uh, Eritrean speaking to Tagaru are the same people or Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Do you have any questions, Captain Eritrea, to our sister? No, tell her, hey, tell her, thank you for standing for what's right. We support you. <laughs> yeah, she said she's freedom. I like that. Uh, and she said, uh, thank you for standing for your right, and we're behind you. Follow Captain Eritrea. Third, do you love the Hawaii? Uh, okay. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Okay. 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 It was enough. No choice. We will. <laughs> so I'm going to find another young gentleman, sir. Uh, this is Captain Eritrea uh, um, on, um, on live.
uh, live uh, right now. Where, uh, have you heard Captain Eritrea lately? Yes. Okay, then I don't have to explain it to you. What, no, you to do. But, uh, what we're trying to do today is we are uh, to uh, solidarity with our brother and sister Tigrayans, and we are the same people uh, with just uh, politics are uh, doing this to us. So we want to give a message to our Eritrean younger generation looking and watching this right now live. What message do you have? Okay. Number one, number one thing, we all the same people. You know, Tigray and Ethiopian Irish, and we are the same people. The only thing we need to do is how can we live together? We can have differences, ideas, but let's figure out how to live together. Yes. You know, who is our best brother? Who is our best friend? Not Asian, not Mexican. Good we point. are one. Yes. So we have to identify who we are, okay. and we have to learn how to live with each other. Good. We can have differences, but we got to talk it out on the good. table. We cannot just kill innocent people. Just good, like good, good, it, just, good. it doesn't make sense. Good. Especially for my Christian brothers. Uh -huh. My family come from Asia and Ukraine everywhere. Yes. So uh, silence is not violence. Yes. Some people are not speaking. They are, they are afraid for their life. Yes. So mm -hmm. I, I just don't see that. Yes. We got to come out. Yes. Life is too short. We're all going to die at some point. Uh -huh. We gotta learn how to do the right thing. Yes. We gotta learn how to come out together yes. and voice our voice for humanity. It's all about humanity. Thank you. So, Thank uh, you. and then you have to understand the agenda mm -hmm. behind this dictatorship. Mm -hmm. You have to look at it. Don't silence it. Just is not a key. What yes. is happening now is something that has been built for yes. many. And then, yes. especially, a lot of air trains are dying. Yes. And a lot yes. of air <laughs> are dying. So yes. people don't see it because they're silent. It doesn't yes. mean. Nothing's happening. Uh -huh. So we need to stand up together. Good. Yes. I like that. I like that. I like that. So, as a Tigran, uh, what do you feel in the future coming up uh, as a young generation of Tigran? Um, uh, 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 so, uh, what do you feel living uh, in 10 years or 20 years or 30 years? Do you think we can be united and work together as one country, uh, uh, as one tribe? We were one tribe. So, what I message do you have? I am for it 100%. I love it. And then uh, there's nothing to divide us. Thank you. And uh, one thing I would say is we have to, uh, we have to be able to create a unity. And the way we do that, we need to create a community. Okay. We need leaders. Yes. You know, because now there's a lot of leaders, but they are afraid to speak up yes. because they might not have followers. Yes. They are afraid of fail. So we cannot be silent. We need leaders. Yes. There's so many smart people, great yes. people around us. Yes. You know, so yes. we have to figure out how to come together, maybe create some kind of um, uh, seminar or something. Yes. That way we can figure it out. We can have our voice heard. Okay, I, I, I really, Captain Eritrea, as the messenger, the gentleman said, uh, we have a lot of good leaders, but they're scared to come out to have opponent on calling them names, but we have to come out for our people. That's the message this gentleman is saying. I thank you very much. Thank we you, appreciate thank you. that. Keep up the great job. Thank you. And, uh, thank you. Uh, you know, let's stop the killing. Yes, and Captain That's Eritrea said we appreciate this. Thank, thank you very much. Thank you very much. I'm going to find another young fellow over here. I think I was talking to him yesterday. We might be a little bit small, but I think I'm trying to uh, capture them. Uh, hold on. Uh, hold on one second. Hold this one for me. Okay. Yes, this is, you can send it around, George. Send it around. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. Here it goes. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Ah. I put the, my earpieces and come falling in apart. Captain Eritrea. I'm going to send it around for you. All right, seems like we have lost him. Okay, he's back on. Yeah, I got you back. Huh? Captain Eric. Yes, yes, and you too. Uh, oh, what? I'm clumsy today, my brother. I apologize for not disorganized, but we'll be okay. Um, you see my earpiece? My earpiece? No, somewhere I'm going to get it. I'm fine. Here goes uh, this gentleman uh, right now. I'm going to turn on the camera right now to so this gentleman. He, he was uh, with us yesterday. Okay, what's the name, sir? Danny, from Los Angeles, California. Oh, from Denver, Colorado. Okay, he's from Denver, Colorado. 
Yeah, he said he knows who you are. And oh, is that, wait, wait, is that, is that Danny Denver? Um, is that Danny Denver? What's going on? Gideon, is that Danny yes. Denver? Yes, yeah, he's Danny. <laughs> That's what it is. Yeah, all right, yeah. Mm. Is someone in the hall, Nina? I'm sorry. We can't hear him. You can't hear you. Okay, good, good. I'm gonna get I know Dan right. Hey, I know right. Danny Denver very well. Right. Salam Balo. How are you? Hey Gideon. Yes. Can you take him somewhere else away from the crowd? We would like to hear what Danny has to say. <laughs> I know. I know. I know. It's too I know. loud. Apologize. Mr. Ground guy is getting a little bit. Uh, hey, hey, first of all, Gideon, first of all, tell Danny, tell Danny, I appreciate him doing this, and I also follow him. He said, I appreciate what you're doing. Thank you, Danny. Go ahead. Get closer to him. Place that they can go to as a home? Way too close. Okay. Wait. Come on, come on. All right. Um, anyone that is an advocate of human rights, one that wants democracy, one that wants a place that they can go to, and people to live in, in a peaceful uh, existence, we have to be a little dictator, dictator, no uh, individuals. These regimes got to go. If they don't go, it's just going to be a consistent, constant fighting and and and. to be a guest this Friday for me on Facebook. Uh, he, uh, he wants you to be a, uh, uh, on Facebook later, depending on be on the guest uh, on his Facebook this Friday. Be, uh, he, he said, great, he will be. Yes. Okay. Thank you. So it has a, it has a link. Okay, Gideon, show us the crowd now. We will, we will give you like two minutes. Uh, I'm, I need to change a couple of things. Yeah, go around the crowd, show us everyone if you can, please. I will, I will. Thank you, brother. No problem, anytime. Team Freedom, Los Angeles, baby. Team Freedom, Los Angeles. We in there. All right, he's adjusting. 
Thank you, sir. Team Freedom, Los Angeles. Let's go. Okay, this is, uh, uh, this is it. Thank you very much. This is Abraham from Los Angeles, California. Oh, oh let me put it back together. Thank you, my brother, again. Okay. I, I, I'm going to introduce uh, one lady here. Uh, she's one of your uh, microphone. Uh, uh, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. And she's very active and very beautiful, grand lady. And uh, this is Captain Emmett is live right now. And uh, what we want to do is give you a message to a uh, young generation, everything like you. I have no idea what's going on. And uh, they, you know, some of the parents tell them not right uh, things because with grants and everything are the same people. So, uh, and to Virginia or in English, whatever you're comfortable with, can you live in that same place? My voice is gone for taking up. <laughs> <laughs> we are here fighting for our people. Understand? Eric, I was in the diet. He is a dictator. And our people are starving. We're dying every single day. We, we are their voice. Silence is violence. We will never stop fighting for people. And Eric, you need to speak up. You need to speak up. Stop being afraid. Speak up. That's right. Thank you. Thank you. I'm going to walk around, uh, look around if uh, what's going on, try to find a young generation. Um, so, as you can see, we are in Los Angeles, California, in front of the, uh, uh, the senator. We're saying uh, 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 what's going on in Tigray, stop the war, and uh, all those things. As a uh, Team Freedom, Los Angeles. Team Freedom, showing let's go. Action. What's going on? So, yeah. can you hear me, Captain Eritrea? I can hear you perfect, Team Freedom LA. Let's go. Thank you. Thank you very much, Team LA. You're doing a great job right now. So, as you can see, uh, a lot of people are uh, coming in and, you know, uh, not to leave their job and uh, trying to fight for their people, starving and uh, genocide and Tigray. And uh, at the same time, as a, a leader of the Eritrea is doing things, and the leader of Ethiopia do things uh, act like nothing is happening. So we are uh, advocating for particular people to say, um, um, so we can fight for, for them, we can fight for other people. I'm going to try to find one uh, lady right now next to me, if she can be interviewed and to gain our arrangement. So uh, this is Captain Eritrea alive right now. Uh, Captain Eritrea is stand for an Eritrean and Tigrayan young generation, educating them who are the same people. They have to be work together, to fight, work together, work together, work together as an Eritrean and Tigrayan to overcome our issues that's going on in our country. So, uh, in, as a young Eritrean uh, Tigrayan, uh, what message do you have? to uh, Eritrean uh, young generation in the United States or all over Europe? Well, they can just have to look at the evidence and uh, do the research and make their own conclusions. So what message do you have saying uh, we have to work together, we have to uh, unite the giant and Eritrean young generation? What's going on? I appreciate that. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, from Los Angeles. Do you have any questions, Captain Eritrea? Yes, uh, do, ask her. Uh, I can't really hear her. It's still loud. Okay, go ahead. 
What question do you have for a la young well, lady? The over question here? I have for her is, uh, no, if she's Tigrayan, does she see Tigray staying in Ethiopia or succeeding? Okay. Or separating? Uh, repeat that question again, please. If, if she's Tigrayan, does she see Tigray staying part of Ethiopia? Okay. So, how do you feel right now? Is the Tigray part of Ethiopia? They have to make that decision. Not that ask me. Okay, good. Yeah. Okay. okay, that's the one for those other people. My question on the other one, on the younger. Wait, wait, Go Gideon, ahead. can you, Gideon, yeah. can you repeat what she said? She said it's, uh, it's up to the people of Tigray who are on okay. the Tigray land to vote whether they be part of Ethiopia or not. Um, uh, and um, she have no, she, according to her, she has no right to speak right now as a, um, to be independent or not. But personally, Excellent. how do you feel? Excellent answer. Thank At you, ma'am. At this point, uh, things are going on back in Tigray. Uh -huh. um, this is my personal opinion. I think Tigray needs to be an independent nation. Okay. So in the future coming up in five years, 10 years, or 20 years, do you think you have... Eritrea and Tigray to be united as an old time, 120, 130 years ago. Do you think you'd be united together, work together for um, for good cause? There, well, there is a lot of work that needs to be done. Mm -hmm. All those things are achieved. Mm -hmm. Yeah, of course. Okay. Well, There's a possibility. We appreciate that. We're a team, uh, uh, well, Team Freedom from uh, Los Angeles, California, broadcasting on. Uh, 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 Captain Eritrea, thank you very much. We appreciate you. And follow Captain Eritrea and Facebook and YouTube. So uh, you're, you know, we need a lot of followers to educate, uh, uh, you know, okay. the young generation. Okay. I appreciate that. Right. Thank you. Thank, thank you, sister. Thank you. Thank you. I, I think I know this lady, man. I'm in trouble. <laughs> yes, I know. <laughs> She did very well. She acts like she doesn't know me. Good job. I like it. I'm going to get more people. To What's up? Yeah? How can we say it? Captain what? Captain Eritrea. And that's your... Uh... That's this guy. You see? Oh, okay. He's, uh, he's a captain in the uh, uh, in United States Army. Oh, and okay. he's uh, an Eritrean born in the same... Uh, what is he trying to do? Trying to do is he's, he's trying to educate an Eritrean, young generation Eritrean, to let them know that we are the same people, we united together, working together as a one cause. Even though we are a separate country right now, but we were one country and we have to know, we have to work together and as a whole time, like 130, 140 years ago. So this guy that's tonight on YouTube called Captain? Eritrea. Yeah. You can find him. If the guy, the guy, the good looking guy, you can find him. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thank you. Right now, Captain Eritrea, we are walking across the street um, just to show uh, the solidarity uh, in Tigrayans on I uh, think Yesterday, they were blocking the free of the street. But I'm not sure it's going to happen but again. But uh, as you can see, a lot of people are there. And so. I think they're going to cross the street right now. And we voted for you. We voted for you. We voted for you. Is that Mike? Mike? Gideon, that's my costume. Yeah. I can't hear you. You say something? Is that Mike Kazan? Mike, uh, yes. Uh, Cyber Mike. Cyber yeah, Mike. he does it. He's, hey, bring him on. Okay. Well, he's recording live right now. Oh, so, okay. Uh, Got you. Okay. We will definitely try to get him back later. I'm definitely, I'm going to try to find uh, this lady right now. She has a combat uniform. Uh, <laughs> I can make it up with a half day. Uh, have you heard about Captain Eritrea? Captain Eritrea. Oh, Captain Eritrea. He's live right now. The figuring young person for the Ottomana, he did a message of the Lena Tagaru, and now we have had it for not allowing us to go to the Ottomana. We need to destroy him. So, what message? Message young generation, Eritrea, American, the low, Europe, the low, message entirely.
So they have a message go, for Karen. They have a message for Karen Bass. Yes, they definitely Karen Bass. Uh, she's uh, not in town, I think so, but I'll find out. But they're still going blocking the street, as you can see. Um, so they can get a message to, uh, to the people. I'm gonna try to find one lady right now here, and she's very active. Yesterday and today, I'm, I'm not sure her voice might be gone, but this is something Eritrea. Have you heard about him? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yes, can you give him a message to him right now? He's alive right now. Oh, yes, Team Freedom, Los Angeles, California. <laughs> Team Freedom, Team Freedom. Just a message to Eritrea how to be united with what's going on right now. Tell him to come out just like he's coming out right now. So we are in solidarity. We can be solidarity to get more message. So what message do you have for a young generation here? Uh, uh, It's amazing. It's very exciting. Look how they block the street. People are not going anywhere. It's just uh, amazing. I, I am incredibly excited. Uh, I hope we have a good message going on right now. Um, it's so beautiful. I'm going to take a couple of pictures while we are here. Uh, I'm going to ask one gentleman to hold this. I don't have a lady. I guess I don't have a lady. Put the camera up, Gideon. Thank you very much. Oh, sorry. Thank you. You got it. You got it. I was taking pictures and at the same time doing the video. Sorry. No worries. No worries, brother. Yeah, no problem. 
as you can see the message here right now this was yesterday for uh, um, you know uh, marching in uh, Disney yesterday in Los Angeles California and Hollywood Boulevard but now uh, as you can see the block again block the street uh, of uh, Highland and Wilshire it's just uh, it's just amazing how uh, how effective they are uh, and what they do how effective they are and what they are is trying to give a message to United States uh, senators and uh, the people of uh, Los Angeles. So I'm going to try to find one young fellow right now. Uh, I'm going to watch him. He's very active yesterday, and before yesterday, I was asking him. Uh, uh, this is uh, this is Captain Eric here from live right now in Central Los Angeles. So, what the question we have as a uh, grant? What message do you have to the young generation Eritreans? Uh, 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 so so what message do you people. have right now? What's going on? Get the so, mic closer you, to him. We can't hear him. I'm sorry, I'll say it again because he's in the video again. So go ahead. We are all together, so we got to, you know what I'm saying? We're from Sigurai, Eritrea. We speak the same language, you know what I'm saying? Okay. We gotta stay together, you know what I mean? Okay, okay. We out here just fighting for our people, you know? Okay. okay. Our people are the same people, you know? Okay. Oh, you know what I mean? Okay. So we all together, man. We stand together. Okay. Okay. You know? okay. Free. It's a good night, man. Good, good. So how do you feel uh, Eritrea and Ethiopia, Eritrea and Tigray together in the future? Do you think they could live or it's going to be one together. country? Uh, yeah, what do, what do you think? Okay. We speak good. the same language. Yeah. You know what I mean? Okay. The same people, it's just it's politics in the middle, you know what I'm saying? Okay. If we get the politics, we come together, you know okay. what I mean? Good, good, good. Together. I appreciate it. Are you from my friend? Are you from Naina? Uh, Ayana, entire message I love from the Tigrinya. Yeah, uh, English is the just way of English to go into the young generation of Eritrea. Yeah, in Tigrinya, we have a common enemy. It's a society, the company is something we want to be you can't hear him, brother. It's surprising, and I'm surprising the Eritreans of who supporter of Isaias and Abi. Uh, to protest, like, you know, go, like encouraging genocide is, is, uh, is terrible. So the Eritrean people have to be aware and they have to deal with the um, oppressed people of Tigray and Eritrea because they have the same task. Thank you, Ayana. Ayana, thank you very much. Uh, I'm going to go and try to find this younger lady. Uh, hi, uh, are you a Tigrayna? No, okay, I don't think she is. she's Latina, so but she looks more. Um, okay, and, you see, I can hear that. There's a lot of people supporting my car, uh, a horn, giving a horn, and those kind of things. And even the tow truck driver is giving a message and I'm blocking the street. Let's just see the bus. You cannot look at the bus, you just you cannot uh, drive around. It's just, um, the uh, message was uh, clear to, uh, to the senator. Um, uh, so that's blocking me a little bit on the, that's why you can't see it right now. But the message is going clear and everybody's supporting. Towards the drive. I'm going to pass it right now as you can see me before I get hit by a car and also before I get hit by a <laughs> the garbage man. So... Hey, Gideon, question for you. Is there is there law enforcement making sure the people are safe you while they're what? marching? Nobody showed up yet. Well, oh. there is one. Hi, how are you? Police. Um, I can't take his uh, video because he is just ignoring it. He's not saying nothing uh, on uh, regarding uh, uh, blocking the street. Um, I, I don't know the why. Law enforcement, but... The law enforcement should be there to ensure the safety of the people. That's true. That's true. But this... Uh, it's kind of odd law, <laughs> so I don't think. But we'll see what's going on. I think they're going back to that um, area stuff. 
uh, where we're standing. Uh, this gentleman, I think, is uh, Latino. Say hi from Captain Eritrea Live. And we together, We love you so much, brother. Okay, good, 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 good. I think I need to talk to this. Did I talk to you before today? Okay, this is uh, live Captain Eritrea. Have you heard Captain Eritrea? Okay, Captain Eritrea stands for an Eritrean young generation educating to Zions and Eritreans are the same people, just politics. And because of the two people, or Alakilate or Nilik, or in Mangisalamarim, even Abi Ahmed separating us and the Dikayas. So the message what we're trying to do is we need the Eritrean young generation educating them. We are the same people we have to fight for our country. Or so, what message do you have for young generation Eritreans right now? We can't hear her, brother. You can hear her. Can you hear Captain Eritrea? No, let's go no we can't hear her. Okay. okay. How about now? Can you hear me now? Can you hear me? Captain? I can hear you, but we can't hear her. Okay, she can get louder. Go ahead. We need more people. Okay, good. So how we're doing, Captain? We're doing awesome. We're doing awesome. Just go around, yeah, show the crowd. We got five more minutes, brother. Let's go in yes, circles, sir. show uh, the people. Go in the front sir, of them yes. if you can. Yes, I will be definitely. Oh, I'm going to have to talk to Ai Ai. Uh, he's with the grand. We're very, uh, um, he's my, just my hero. Hey, uh, uh, this is Captain Eritrea. The Australian message in Kalika, the Australian young generation. Uh, Good, good, good. What we want to do is, what message do we have for the young generation Eritreans uh, who are uh, watching this? Uh, uh, um, you know, it's a, well, it's a demonstration 
So um, just to like explain to them how to grind and everything and the same people we have to be fighting for our freedom and, and from Isaiah and Avi. Can you have a message in English? In English or in English? Just a minute. My brothers and sisters, please, let's start together. Let's throw this dictator. We got old dictator and young dictator destroying our people. We have the same pain. We just got to be the same. We are the same people. We are, we speak the same language. We came from the same spirit. So, let's leave, let's leave behind our religion. Let's be, stand together. Let's free people. Let's free our people. Let's free our young people. Yes. They are getting killed yes. everywhere. They are getting massacred. Yes. Why that? People that love to drink blood, dirty people. Yes. Thank you very much. I appreciate that Captain Erica. Just yeah, Joe Hauna, Joe Hauna. I Joe Hauna, I'm gonna have a candle, Captain Erica. I Joe Hauna, I you have nine every candle. I you are in the house. I you are. This gentleman was very active. I think he lost his voice from Saturday. And uh, <laughs> so um, I think uh, this is Captain Erica. You know, Captain Erica. You know, so we know him with this uh, team, uh, Los Angeles, which is a uh, in freedom, uh, interviewing you to the Captain Eritrea, and Captain Eritrea is live right now. Is the message what you want to transfer to the Eritrean young generation, and um, uh, what message do you have? Get closer. In the future, as an as a grind, uh, what method do you have? Uh, you think it's a grind, uh, young generation and uh, uh, Eritrea young generation work together for one country. What do you think? I mean, I feel like uh, there's hope, you know, uh, because I see a lot of Eritrean. Thousand years. Yes. You know, we've always coexisted. We yes. can sit, pray together. All the time. Yes. 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 Yes, message, um, tell him to message me on Facebook or something. I'd like to keep in contact with him. Not a problem. I'm going to take his contact. He'd like to uh, interview you on a uh, Are you from Los Angeles? Yeah. Okay, what I'm going to do is, you got your phone? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm going to take his information and call him and make arrangements for, the, my name is Gideon, well, 714-404-2724. And uh, text me your name. Uh, just make sure uh, you take a picture of your face. So I, I have a lot of pictures for you. A lot of pictures. Good message. Hey, Gideon, I tell, him I said, welcome, a... tell him I said, welcome to Team Freedom. And I, I look forward to interviewing him on behalf yeah. of Tigrayans. Okay. For him to well, speak for Tigrayans. Yes, yes. One job, Captain Richard, I said, uh, thank you for uh, standing for the Tigray. And he would like to interview you. And, um, and more and more, we can work together. This gentleman is awesome. He's very, very yeah. awesome. I like this gentleman. I think it's a pretty good uh, uh, interview. We can do that. Uh, 
I will make arrangements maybe like on Friday or next week to, to get an interview with him. He's from Los Angeles, California. Thank you, my brother. Thank That's you. your name. That's your name. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you, um, yeah, Howie. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, the Howie. Okay, we're, we're going we're gonna to wrap it up. Gideon, make one com complete circle around the people. Show the yes. people and, yes. and motivate yes. the people with your fist up. <laughs> okay, good, good, good. As you can see right now, we're concluding um, the message for, uh, from Captain Eritrea. Um, uh, okay, Captain Eritrea. Captain Eritrea. Yes, this is live right now. You Captain Eritrea, you, you follow him. Captain Eritrea. Okay. As you can this is uh, Gideon Abraham from uh, Los Angeles, California. Hey! Yeah, my man is over here. Man, over here. Go ahead. You could just you could just hand him the phone. <laughs> Can you hear him? What if they tell him to get closer? Get closer to my ear. Uh, okay. So you guys What's up, Mike? Mike? Okay. Uh, so if you guys can hear me, we are peacefully protesting, as you all know, to get rid of Abi Ahmed of Ethiopia who says I'm working for Eritrea. So that. Once and for all, the people of Tigray, the people of Eritrea, can live in peace once and for all. When dictators are removed from power, then the people. So, hopefully, you can hear me okay. I know the Bluetooth situation when I did the report is hard, but. No, we hear you fine, Mike. Thank you. Very clear. The issue is not between Eritrea and Tigray, the issue is between dictators We're trying to control Eritrea, trying to control Tigray. Anyway, I don't know if they speak to you now, but I can say something to you now too. Yes. So, tell us about something that I don't know how you. My Tisaga, my Katra has been, I think I hit the Tisagamo, I'm back in that point. The key now, the Abdullah Yahuru, Katra has been, Salasa Ahmed, the Isaza Hot, the Chapel is never has been, the good thing. And they, what you have, man, I say, the concern of Kwati and Bahada Barada, the Sawu, the Nizia Ponanir, is your Tara, Zia Ponanir. ስለዚህ <laughs> ወንጎንቆይኑ <laughs> Hold on, hold on, you, Mike. I got a question. Hold on, Bullo. Hold on. I'm sorry, I can't hear you. I got a question. Hold on, Mike. Mike, Mike, hold on, hold on. He wants to talk to I wanted to ask him about uh, what he thought about the Amhara militias and, and uh, 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 Amhara and uh, Abi soldiers attacking their own Ethiopians to this extent. What do, What does Mike, my brother, what do you think about that? Do you think that is dirty mentality or do you think it's just jealousy or do you think it's just to eradicate eradicate the entire Tigray Hizbi because of uh, political jealousy and economical jealousy? What is it? So um, the volume is low, I can hear you clearly, but I think uh, if, I, if I understand the question correctly, what is the main issue that's happening in Tigray today? I think the the fact is very simple. No, the Amhara. Uh, yeah. The Amhara. No. Tell me about the right. Amhara. Of course, yeah. So the Amhara never accepted our trust independence. Okay? Let's just make it very clear. They never agree with it. They never accepted it. They never accept the fact that Asset, the port Asset, is part of Eritrea. They claim it to this day as part of Ethiopia. So their agenda is very clear. You divide the Eritreans and the, the Tagaru, particularly those who speak the Grinya on both sides. 
you weaken them because they're the strongest in the Horn of Africa. So when you weaken them, when you build hatred between the two, what happens in the minds of the Amhara, their arrogance is that then they would weaken Eritrea through the fighting with Tigray. When Eritrea and Tigray is weak, then they would come in, take over Eritrean territory, Tigray in their mind, they don't think that now it's going to become independent, but their, in their mindset is that they will control Tigray, they will take most of Eritrea, particularly south of Eritrea, including Port Asset. Then Tagaro and Eritreans would forever live as enemies. That would weaken Eritrea, that would weaken Tigray. Then Ethiopia, in their mind, Amhara specifically, that is, in their mind, is that they know that the only way, the only way they can capture Asad and become powerful in the Horn of Africa is again going back to weakening Eritreans and weakening Sagaru. And that's exactly what we're talking about is like, look, we understand within Eritrea, within Tigray, there could be divisions, there could be political differences. That's what democracy is supposed to be like. I get that. I understand that. I'm not going to like lie, sit here as a, as a Tigrayan American. I'm not going to say that I agree with every Eritrean or I like every Eritrean, but that's within my right. But that doesn't mean that Eritreans and Tagaros aren't going to live together side by side. They're intertwined in many ways, language, marriage, many other things. Amhara does not like that because that's powerful. And they know in the struggle how Tigray and Eritrea fought side by side over through the Amhara leadership. So for the last 25 years, they call it 27, but I call it 25 because Abiy Ahmed was in charge for the last two and a half years. So for the first 25 years, the strength that we see in Ethiopia and Tigray was due to the, the Tiki Allah. And that anger and jealousy by the Amhara, they manipulated in thinking that weakening Tigray, they would overtake Eritrea. That's wrong because Isaiah, on the other hand, wants to dis dismantle Ethiopia, weaken Ethiopia, then in return, he figures he can remain in charge and then his son will soon become another era trend dictator. That's my personal opinion, but I don't say this lightly because I was born in Tigray myself. As a child refugee, I saw massive exodus of Eritreans and Tagari in the 80s, I'm, and I'm among them. But for the Amhara, Tagari strength, Eritrean strength, is their nightmare. I mean, as simple as that. Thank you, Mike. That was eloquently stated. I appreciate you, brother. ነበርነው ነሱ <laughs> ዲዩኒ
Thank you, Mike. Ex excellent. We appreciate that. Thank you. Yep. Thank you. Ajoha Hawaii. Alena, I hope. Hey, we'll be doing an interview together. We'll be we'll be doing an interview together soon. Of course, bro. Of course. Of course. <laughs> okay, Hawaii. Hey, Gideon, right. thank you. Yep. We'll cut it out live from here. Live uh, Team Captain Freedom. Live. Here, I'm going to sign off from Los Angeles, California. Team Freedom, Los okay, Angeles. Thank you very much. You're welcome. And uh, uh, we will have another broadcasting if it's possible. They're going to the Little Ethiopia demonstrating on the walk of the street. Um, I will, uh, if we have time, we'll come back and sign up again. Okay. Thank you very much. Uh, signing up from Los Angeles, California, Team uh, Freedom, Los Angeles, California. Thank you. Okay.